Hello, my name is Tom, we are here at Game Changer Audio, and this is the Motor Synth Mark II. In this video, I will look at one specific functionality that I have already mentioned in several previous videos. And that is the link button for the amp envelopes, acceleration, and filter sections. So be sure to watch those videos as well to get the full picture. The link to the full playlist is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about future videos. Motors since tree voice architecture allows them to be used as three completely independent musical parts or as three layers of the same part. Each voice has independent controls for amp envelope, acceleration and break, filter, and filter envelopes. All of this, of course, gives great options for sound design. However, sometimes, especially when using the voices as layers, all this flexibility is not necessary. Let's say you want to layer three voices with different waveforms and octave settings, but have all other parameters set to the same values, for example, the amp envelope. If you would then want to change the amp envelope, you would need to continually and manually adjust all three envelopes, making sure they are the same. This is inconvenient. The link button allows to link all three envelopes together and choose the master envelope. And instead of controlling three envelopes, you can now just control the master envelope. The same applies to acceleration and brake and filter and filter envelopes. In this patch, the amp envelope for each of the motor sense voices is set completely differently. Here I have the amp envelope for the first voice, with a nice long attack and long release. The amp envelope for motor voice 2 is set to a short decay. and the digital voice amp envelope is set to the looping mode. All of them together produce this lovely sound. But let's say I now want to turn this patch into a nice uniform pad sound with all of the voices following the first voice envelope. All I have to do is press Alt, Link button, and choose the master voice with the left screen encoder, in this case, voice number one, and then hit the Link button. Now I can make adjustments to all of the three voices at the same time using the controls for Motor Voice 1 only. If I now go to the amp envelope of any of the other two voices, I can see that the parameters are directly taken from the motor voice 1. However, the original parameters are saved in the background, identified by the dotted line and flashing parameter values. This means that I can hit Alt, Link, and choose a different master voice, let's say voice number 2, and link them together. Now all three voices have taken the parameters from the motor voice 2, 
as they were before I initially linked them together. Or the digital voice. This, of course, also means that I can now unlink the voices to the original values. Let's link all of the three voices together again, and I'll show you another way how you can unlink them. I will now link the amp envelopes to the motor voice one again. Hit Alt, Link button, choose the correct master voice, and press Link. I'm almost happy with this sound. However, I would like to regain control over individual voices to make small adjustments while keeping the general envelope shape the same, copied from the Motor Voice 1. The link screen offers two options for how the envelopes behave when they are unlinked. To set values means that they will return to their original values, as shown in the previous examples. No change means that they will remain with the current envelope shape, but they will be in fact unlinked. So let's do that. I have now regained individual control over all three voices. As you can see, there are still some dotted lines and flashing parameters. It is because the original envelope parameters are still saved in the background if I ever want to return them later on but the actual envelope shape is taken from the former master voice, which was motor voice number one. I can now make small adjustments to each voice individually. Let's say I want to reduce the sustain level on the digital voice. and make the motor voice to release very short. If I now want to return to the actual original envelope values for each voice, I can go back to the link screen, change the unlink mode to set values, and hit unlink again. What I have shown until now applies exactly the same to the amp envelopes, acceleration and brake, and filter and filter envelopes. However, filter has one additional special linking type. In this patch, the filter is set completely differently for each voice. I like what each filter is doing in this patch, but I would also like to sweep all of the three filters at the same time without losing all other parameters. Currently it's not possible while they are unlinked. So what I can do is go into the link screen and link them together. But instead of choosing a master filter, I can go to the offset option. This means that all three filters will be linked together, but they will keep sounding the same as they did until now but I will gain control over all three filters at the same time.
Furthermore, it is possible to enter each filter individually while they are linked to introduce some additional parameter offsets. For example, I could double tap the digital filter button and increase the resonance without touching the resonance of the other two filters. button is perhaps not the most exciting feature about the Mothersynth, rather a useful utility. But sometimes a useful utility is what makes a synthesizer not only programmable, but also performable. Thank you. 